Okay, when I was out at the range, I didn't quite put the video together well. But what we did is we took our bullet with the heavy coating of lube. And we got our Gra 1874. Okay. And I shot it uh, at 100 yards. And uh, this is the clip, or this is what I was doing. I shot it at 100 yards. It was a nice day. Not that much wind, and uh, it, you know the video will show you how it worked out. Okay, so far with the gra, I'm getting about the same accuracy, about a three-inch group. Of course, with these old style iron sights, and you're constantly adjusting and how high up in the notch you go, it's kind of hard to get pinpoint accuracy. So what I'm going to do is flip it back to this sight, which I knew shot high. Aim to the right, aim very low, kind of get that sight blade to go down in a notch. And I'm going to put one or two in, see where I'm at. And if my calculations are good, and I get in a bowl here, then we're going to move on to the 200 yard range. Which this sight here, probably as is, would be a good deal. See if that got me where I wanted to go. <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay, I'm closer to the ball. Yeah, so maybe we're gonna go and move our happy little thing to the 200 yard range. And finally get to see what these guns do for fun. I mean, I'm hitting good <clears throat> at 100. I'm confident. Now it's time to get challenged. We'll go down and look at the 100 yard targets before I move down to the 200 yard range. Okay, for the Gra at 100 yards. Having a heavier bullet, and it is not, it's kind of a light load. First round went down here in the corner. So I flipped up the sights, said let me try the other sights, kind of aim, point of aim, and second shot was up here in this corner. So I kind of used that battle sight and then got this grouping here, these shots here, and I was aiming about here. Now when I flipped up the other sight and then aimed here and was monkeying with the uh, where the front sight post was those last two shots came in here which for me was close enough to the bull see that <coughs> the bullets dropping a bit if I was up another three grains of powder I'd be shooting up high so we're trying to cut back on the letting and get something where we can get a halfway decent idea and hit something, which it's it's coming, you know, it's not too bad for an old gun at 100 yards. Okay, and uh, I don't mention it, but after I got done with 100 yards, I shifted with, I had two rifles out that day, I shifted to 200 yards. And this is, uh, the, you know, the video of me shooting at 200 and what my results were. Okay, with the bra. We're shooting to the left. First one was high. Then I tried changing it. It's like low, it's way low. 
this notch is not that fine quite wide open you got a lot of room and at this distance you know you're talking six seven inches with each little variant uh, <clears throat> so it's a matter of finding the correct correct sight picture and exactly where you want to put it and trying to get her in there so far I haven't been on the paper I should move this thing over here but this one's a little bit more difficult to shoot at a distance than the Mauser okay well I noticed that this little sight block was loose I tried tightening it up with a pocket knife and now I have no idea where that last shot went so I haven't even hit the paper. I'm all around it, but I haven't hit the actual paper at this distance yet. And I don't know. <clears throat> One last thing to try. We we'll use that little flip up sight. <coughs> and I'll try getting one in with that one. See how that did. Well, that didn't do it, and not knowing where I'm shooting, I only got four rounds left. I guess I should try try getting something on the paper, knowing at least where I'm shooting. Put this other sight. between the two targets it looks like I got the elevation right but I'm shooting way to the left you think there's a way tightened up that rear sight got two more rounds and I still have not gotten on the paper. Uh. Okay, finally on the paper. I got two rounds left. Oh boy. I the elevation is about right on. Okay. <coughs> what I'm doing is putting the blade way up against the side of the notch and over. And I'm in now. But that's that's sight the sights on this gun aren't the greatest. And the last one. It wouldn't be bad if you know the ammunition was a little bit more reasonable than that, but I don't know, reloading it ain't terrible, but it can be expensive. But let's take, let's do another one. Alright, that's it. Kind of disappointing, but it can't win them all. Now we'll see if uh, how the letting situation worked, and that we'll look at that and do a little update video. So now I guess it's time to go down range and wrap it up for the day. Okay, here we are at our 200 yard target with the Gra. Now we had some problems, like I said, all of these in the center between the targets for the Gra 
bounds. Now, like I said, the elevation was there, and some went low down in here. I was getting lows to the left. And I think I did an extreme and got a high to the right. And then those last three I shot were on the paper. And that's where I was like pushing the front sight all the way to the right and past on that notch. And I got them on the paper. So, I don't know, the sights, the sights are hard to deal with, especially at this distance, as you see. And I was hoping for better results, but I kind of now, eventually, towards the end, I got to where I was on the paper. So, a little bit on a difficult side to fire that gun.